what my involvement is in stuff? Casey. Mom. What? No. I don't know what your involvement is, sweetheart. You can, you're not telling me where she's at. Because I don't know where she's at. Are you kidding me? Casey, don't waste your call. No. Scream and holler at waste me. Waste my call sitting in, oh, the, the jail? In Whose fault where is... bunks are? Whose fault is you're sitting in the jail? You're blaming me that you're sitting in the jail? Not Blame yourself fault. for telling lies. You mean it's not your fault? What do you mean it's not your fault, sweetheart? If you'd have told them the truth and not lied about everything, they wouldn't... Do me a favor. Just tell me what Tony's number is. I don't want to talk to you right now. Forget it. I don't have it. If only the mother was as frank uh, with the rest of us as she was with her daughter there in that uh, taped phone conversation with the daughter in jail. We're talking about the maddening case of Kaylee Anthony, the three-year-old missing in Orlando since June 9th, or now June 16th, we're hearing. Here now some other inconsistencies in the family's accounts. Item the odor in Casey's call. During this week's bond hearing, the lead detective in the case described what, according to his expertise, was the source of the stench. Initially on the 17th when we had the car towed, um, our forensic technician met us downstairs. Uh, I actually went into the car to smell what the smell smelled like. And in my experience, the smell that I smelled inside that car was the smell of decomposition. But Grandma tried to tell reporters it was nothing more than rotting pizza in the trunk. I got bags of pizza in there, put it in the car for a day, and tell me what it smells like. Do it for 19 days and come back to me. But that's not what Grandma thought initially. There's something wrong. I found my daughter's car today, and it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. Item Grandma Cindy tells reporters that her daughter was not on the 911 call that Grandma made to report missing Kaylee. On the no. second 911 call, Cindy, Casey very very calmly, very calmly says, my daughter has been missing for 31 days. She wasn't on the 911 call. She was. You can hear her voice. She says, my daughter has been missing for 31 days, and she doesn't sound upset about it. She didn't call 911. I did. But you can hear it. She gets on the phone, and she says this. I don't know what phone she got on. But again, the initial tape tells a different tale. Is your daughter there? I'm on the phone with them. Is your daughter there? Yes. Can I speak with her? Do you mind if I speak with her? Thank you. I called them two hours ago. They haven't gotten here. They're here to talk. They want to talk to you. Let me have a different question. Hello? Hello? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit what's going on? My daughter's been missing for the last 31 days. Item last week, Casey, the daughter's attorney, Jose Baez, got defensive when I asked him what the grandma knew and didn't know about the period of time that went by since little Kaylee supposedly went missing. Did she see time. the grandchild from June 9th until uh, her daughter was arrested on Wednesday? I don't believe so. You do not believe so? Any idea right. why for a loving grandma? Why? Well, I mean, I, I think it's a, a bit unfair to, to attack her as an unloving grandma. I'm not attacking anybody, Jose, and I'm getting tired of you guys making me the bad guy. These are questions that anybody watching this program would have. These are legitimate, simple, obvious questions. Five week pass. She's in the same town. She doesn't see There's the no granddaughter. Is, is, she, is her daughter lying to her in that period? Oh. Did she not have any suspicions that something was awry? Absolutely, and I, I believe that's why she brought it to the attention of the police department. But the attorney's comments belie the fact that these grandparents were extremely close to Kaylee, involved in her life on a daily basis, finally demanding that their daughter produce her child. What happens when you go and you find someone that's not where they said that they were going to be for a couple weeks, and then does not produce your granddaughter that's supposed to be with her every day? I was upset with her. I told her, lead me to them. She goes, I can't, Mom. No, I'm not giving you another day. I've given you a month. Uh, the, uh, Judge Jeanine Pirro. That's exactly the point. The grandmother knew she had been fighting with her own daughter about the whereabouts of her granddaughter, Kaylee, and she says to her daughter, I've given you a month. Those grandparents knew. He may seem like a regular guy and a nice guy, but the bottom line is it sounds like they're covering up for their daughter. And the fact that their daughter in jail says on tape, why is everyone so concerned about Kaylee? All they're worried about is getting Kaylee back. Your two-year-old oh is missing God. for 30, 31 days, and you want your boyfriend's telephone number, and you want to know why everyone Everyone's worried about your two-year-old who's, uh, you know, Geraldo, I'm afraid to think of what happened to this child. I, I can't imagine, and uh, Kimberly will get you on the other side of this mandatory break, but I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if this child is alive, uh, I hope I'm wrong.
but all the indications to me are that uh, this is a, a missing child who something happened. We can speculate on what, whether the mother did something, abuse or neglect. We'll do it on the other side of this break. Our crime time in the summertime special continues. Kimberly, I'm going to read from a story running on the Associated Press Wire right now. Quote, the grandmother of missing Florida toddler Kaylee Marie Anthony says the implication that her daughter, the child's mother, did something wrong is just not true. Cindy Anthony, the mother, told reporters today that her daughter Casey is innocent and would be willing to talk to the FBI since she does not trust local authorities. I know. Everything is a conspiracy against them. Here's the bottom line. I think the grandmother knows that something horrible happened to this little girl. She knows a lot more than she's letting on. And she knows that her daughter knows. That's what we know tonight. Because this is something where she's trying to make excuses. One minute she says on the 911 call that it smells like a dead body in there. Then to the press and the media she tells us, oh, come on, what are you talking about? It smells like pizza. My daughter didn't do anything wrong. Now now we hear the, the grandfather telling Craig that, in fact, there was new people in her life, maybe this boyfriend, Tony, that she was more concerned about getting his phone number than even asking or seeming concerned whatsoever about her missing flesh and blood. These people are protecting their daughter. And, Judge, you remember from law school or probably from the bench the phrase excited utterance? That's right. And how we credit those first, oh, my God, Jackie killed him, oh, my God. Oh my God, it smells like a dead body. We was an excited them more utterance. credibility. We Absolutely. afford them more credibility when they haven't had a chance to think about it. Mm -hmm. Grandma's had a chance to think about it. Grandma knows her daughter's in trouble. The baby is probably not alive. And now Grandma and Grandpa are circling the wagons to protect their daughter, Casey. And Grandma can't deny what she's already said on the 911. The body, the car smelled like a decomposed body. Fighting with her daughter. It's been 31 days. I've given you enough time. This is pretty obvious. Right? Yeah, she was trying to turn her own daughter in. She had the right instincts right, initially. Right. Now she's backing now she's off because she knows it's messed uh, th up. That, that aspect wrong. is not uncommon. And Parents the cadaver dog alerted in the car. Don't Parents call that. cops on their kids often, and then they, they get they second thoughts back. when they talk to the attorneys. Right. And then say, well, I wasn't great. Scare didn't tactic at first to try and But what about that hot get... car theory? Yeah, I think the hot, the hot car, it's Florida. It's the, the, Some people have been talking about that on the Internet as well, saying that, look, maybe it was an accident. It was like a hot car situation because she appears to be a negligent mother driving the car around till it runs out of gas check kiting that type of thing so it's not that far-fetched uh, Stacy Dietrich uh, the author of the devil's closet a veteran detective uh, joins me from Columbus Ohio uh, Stacy do you credit that the grandparents would not know the babysitter of their beloved granddaughter whom they saw every single day I mean I know every babysitter my children ever had exactly and again like the other commentators were saying there's something going on with these grandparents. She initially, um, she knew her daughter did something wrong. And, and keep in mind, Jose Baez, a couple days ago, stated that... He won't talk to me uh, anymore. I... Duck in my calls. <laughs> He's the attorney. Are, are you upset? Uh, he right, they just actually, think it shows that, uh, you know, he's lost some courage along the way. You, but, you would think. Well, he made the statement that she was shown a picture of Zeneda Gonzalez, and she the, didn't the, identify her, which... Right. The babysitter. Right. And th what he failed to add is that they showed her a picture of every Zaneda Gonzalez within the state of Florida, and she didn't identify any one of them. None of these women had even heard of Casey Anthony. So this woman clearly doesn't exist. I'm not quite sure what state of mind the grandparents are in right now, but it seems like Everybody in this family is so remiss about this whole thing. Like, it's just another that day at the office. That is the and biggest understatement this... of the evening, uh, Stacey. Yes, yes. All right, Judge, here you have a situation where, for some reason, they dug in the grandparents' backyard. Could it be that some of the soil they found in that car matched the backyard? The body was obviously not there, but there are some theories. Maybe it spent a little time in that backyard. Right, right. And that's probably why, if that is one of the theories, that the grandparents have changed their mind. Right. Coming up, Drew Peterson gets punked and...